What's up guys, it's your boy Vic. Now today I'm bringing you a deck profile of a deck that, you know, I'm working on since, you know, Legendary Hero decks came out. Legendary Hero decks box, that came with like three of like, honestly, my favorite decks. Destiny Heroes, Nordics, and Phantom Knights. Well, you know what? These next two weeks, two, three weeks, I'm probably going to be working on different variants of trying to maximize the potential of each one of those decks as much as possible because I love Nordics. I love the Acer gods. I love the whole idea of Norse mythology and so on and so forth, you know. I love Destiny Heroes because, you know, it was like the anti-elemental heroes, you know, the evil against the good, or as you could say, you know, but even though, you know, Aster Phoenix wasn't evil or anything in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX era or, or anything, but, you know, I just, I freaking love them, you know. It's just... I, I don't know what the what I, what else I could say to be honest. Yeah, I'm baffled for words about this. I need to get another legendary hero dex box because I just need some more cards. I need to get some um, more solid soldiers. But for now, guys, I'm bringing you a destiny hero deck profile that I could put to the potential that I have of the cards I have right now. All right, guys, let's get into this deck profile. Let's get All right, guys. Now for the first lineup. Now this is a 50 card deck. Uh, trying to turbo this out as much as possible. I apologize if you hear a helicopter in the background. You know, the airport's not that far from where I'm at. Um, I have 23 spells, 27 monsters, a 15 card extra deck. I didn't work on a side deck yet for this, but you know, uh, I'm about to bring you the best potential I can bring for Destiny Heroes. All right, start it off. Do Destiny Hero, Drill Dark. Um, I only have two right now until I get another box, De Destiny Hero, um, the Legendary Hero Dex box. I eventually actually want to max rarity them out, but for now I'm probably just going to end up getting another box when I get paid. Um, he's really freaking good. When you normal special summon him, you can special summon a Destiny Hero monster from your hand with attack less than or equal to this card's attack. Now, also, he also inflicts piercing battle damage, but that's the part that's not important for him. He's a level 4 dark. I, I, man, I, I love him. Love him, love him, love him. Um, Destiny Hero Dogma. Now, the reason I got Destiny Hero Dogma is because, you know, he could be special by attributing three monsters, including at least one Destiny Hero monster. Um, once per turn, of course, you lose, you can pay half your life points, but that's really not why I have him anyways. The reason I have him is because he's a 3,400 beater, most likely anyways, in the game state. I'll probably end up linking him off at another point. Um, Destiny Hero Plasma. One of my favorite Destiny heroes, to be honest. He's freaking really good. Once per turn, you can tar you target one monster your opponent controls. Basically, equip that target to this card. He, he gains attack equal to the card's attack. Not only that, but when he's face up on the field, he's basically like a skill drain as, as well. You know, he's really freaking good. Um, Destiny Hero Disc Commander. To be honest, Destiny Hero Disc Commander is in here because of the fact that I sold. I could just always end up doing, you know, sending one equip spell from my deck. And end up special summoning Disc Commander and going in from there. Um, one Destiny Hero Celestial. Celestial is really good. If I, once I get another one, I'm going to end up probably putting one more Celestial in here because of the fact that, you know, when this card declares an attack, you can target one space of spell card your opponent controls, destroy it, and if, if you do inflict 500 damage to your opponent, that's really freaking good. For uh, his his ability, you know, it, I, I don't know what else to say. Also, you can banish this card one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard and draw two cards. Draw two cards. Draw two cards. Uh, draw two cards if I special summon him. Draw two cards if I banish him and another Destiny Hero monster from grave. Um, Destiny Hero Dynatag. Destiny Hero Dynatag is a, uh, I should say, really good. Um, during damage calculation, when you would take battle damage, quick effect, you discard this card, make yourself take no battle damage from that battle, and if you do, each player takes a thousand damage. You banish this card from the graveyard, then target one Destiny Hero monster you control, it gains a thousand seconds until the end of your opponent's next turn. So, he's really freaking good for the fact that he basically beefs up your Destiny Hero monsters. Um, Diamond Dude, need I say more? Right now, I only have two Malicious. This is why I can't wait till I get another box. But I'm probably going to end up getting two boxes that we have all Ultra Rare. Um, Destiny Hero Maliciouses. Um, I don't even need to say anything. Really, you could just honestly just summon Drill Dark. Special summon out Malicious. Link them off. 
into ISIL, banish malicious from graves, special summon malicious, and keep going from there. You know, it's really freaking good. Um, Destiny Hero Dreamer. Dreamer is really freaking good because if he's in your grave during damage calculation and you have a Destiny Hero monster that's in battle, you can special summon him from grave. So you could essentially just end up linking him off basically from there. It's, it's really good. Uh, Destiny Hero Decider. Decider is really good. This basically says right here if a level 6 or higher monster your opponent controls cannot target. Level 6 or higher monsters your opponent controls cannot target this card for attacks. If this card is normal, special summon, you can add one hero monster from your graveyard to your hand during the end phase of this turn. When a card or effect is activated, they'll inflict. Uh, that's one of his effects. The second effect is when a card or effect is activated, they'll inflict damage to you while this card is in your graveyard. Return this card to the hand. If you do make that da effect damage, you take zero. So this card is also really good for um, Trickstar matchups. Um, one Shadow Mist. Once I get another box, I'm going to have another Shadow Mist. Um, I need to get two more Solid Soldiers. Solid Soldiers really good. I need um, Master or Dion, though, because the effect is really good. The reason why I like Solid Soldiers is because Solid Soldiers doesn't specify the special summon a level 4 lower elemental hero. It says when this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 lower hero monster. And then if for any reason this card leaves a field by spell effect, if it's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by spell effect, you can um, target one hero monster in your graveyard, except uh, himself, and special summon it in defense position. So you can actually end up special summoning this commander in defense position, and then just draw two because of his effect. Really good. Um, I'm going to hero Prisma, because Prisma is the effect of a substitute of fusion. Um, Blaze Man, because the reason that I have Blaze Man is because the way I took this deck is not only just for mass change, but also polymerization. Strudo, because why not? I basically put the Dark Engine here. Three Armageddon Knights, but also I put also a PK Engine here, so it's like Destiny D Hero PK. Um, two Ancient Cloaks, two Silent Boots, and only one Phantom Knights of Ragged Glove, because I'm only playing them as, their, as a tiny engine. I'm not playing them as, you know, a big, huge engine. Um, one junk forward because I only have one junk forward. Uh, if you can, I would recommend probably two more junk forwards. And Blue Mountain Buttersply. Blue Mountain Buttersply is really good because it says uh, when you normal summon a warrior type monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. One thing is you can't synchro off with this card, but I'm okay with that because really most of this game state today is uh, a lot of linking. And the way I like to play with this deck is also fusion summoning a lot. So, that concludes the monster lineup. Now let's get into the spell lineup. Soul Charge. Three or lower darknesses because, you know, this deck is mainly all dark. Two Destiny draws. I'm running a lot of D heroes, so why not play Destiny draw? Discard a Destiny hero. Draw two cards. Two mass changes. Once I get another mass change, I'm going to run one more. One Foolish Burial. Two polymerizations. Now, mind you guys, I had a lot of E-Hero cards before because I've been in the game for a long time, but I've never been interested in elements of Hero cards, so, like, Mass Change and all the other cards, like, I ended up just trading off my rare Shadow Mists and Dark Laws and Mass Changes, so dealing with what I got right now, that's why I'm trying to get my collection back up, man, because, you know, Destiny Heroes, like, Destiny Heroes is going to make a comeback, baby. Rhoda... 2E emergency call, this way I can get to Solid Soldier a lot quicker, or even get um, Shadow Mist to hand. Mass Change 2. Now for the equips that I am playing, uh, Moon Mirror Shield. Two different Dimension Reincarnations. I'm probably going to end up putting uh, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade once I get it in here. And then um, I have a couple other cards that I would like to put in here as well. Currently at the moment I cannot locate them since I moved. And then to continue on now into the trap lineup, I only run four traps. The Phantom Nest is Shea Brigand, Brigandine, and uh, Fog Blade, and Defusion. Defusion, that way I can fuse on my opponent's turn. So on and so forth. 
hear me out. I'm trying to make this as competitive as possible for the fact that, you know, I am doing a fusion variant. This isn't just like a link variant. This isn't just a mass change variant. This is me trying to put it everything to play as much as possible, not only just for fun, but also to try to make it have a super competitive edge. Since I only have one link monster that's gone to extra deck. I sold two Tales of the Normal Knights. The brand new Extra Hero Wonder Driver, really freaking good. If your hero monster is normal, special summon to the zone he points to. You can add a polymerization card, target a polymerization card, fusion spell card, or change quicks. What does it say? Or change quick play spell in your graveyard, set that target. You can only activate this effect of Extra Hero Wonder Driver. Once per turn, if this card is destroyed by battle since the graveyard, or if this card is in your possession destroyed by an opponent's card effect and since your graveyard, special summon a hero monster from your hand. So like he's really freaking good, because not only that, he like he says he specifies hero monster. I'm liking cards that are specifying hero monsters. It gives you more of a variation. It's not just like elemental heroes or destiny heroes, it's saying heroes. So heroes is a giant category because you got vision heroes, masked heroes, you have um, destiny heroes, elemental heroes. So on and so forth. I'm continuing on now. I apologize. Uh, one Nightmare Unicorn. One Firewall Dragon. Now the reason Nightmare Unicorn and Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon is Firewall Dragon can make a lot of combos. But not only that, but because of the fact of um, I can special summon a lot more out. Bring cards back to hand and keep going for combos. Nightmare Unicorn. Because Nightmare Unicorn to return a card from the field back to their deck. That way, you know, um, they try to... Let's say they, they don't, they're not able to complete their extra link or for whatever reason. I'm still working on this extra deck now, guys. So keep in mind, I'm still working on the deck to try to make sure I find ways of how to get out of the extra link at the moment. So that's why I'm working on that side deck. And then I'm not showing you that today. But um, continuing on. One Beals of the Diabolic Dragon. Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, Heroic Champion Excalibur, Heroic Champion Excalibur to breed over those giant tough opponents, and so on and so forth. Exiton Knight, Dark Hole, my opponents, Caulfield, Phantom Knight's a break sword. That way I can um, pop a card in the field. Uh, going to Fusion's Destiny Hero Dangerous, Master Hero Dark Law, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, Master Hero Anki, and Two Destiny Hero Dystopias, and last but not least, Destiny Hero Dustopia. Freaking love the fusions. Ah, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm still working on it. This is not a perfected. This isn't a masterpiece. This is a prototype. But I figured I'd share you guys the juice today. You know, that way you guys can actually see what projects I'm currently working on. I'm trying to make my channel as diverse as possible so you guys will see anything from like extreme competitive content to you know content that everybody can actually check out they want a fun deck profile they want to really make a deck that isn't competitive it's super competitive so and so forth you know <clears throat> try to make my channel so that everyone can enjoy the content not just competitive players because, you know, I know that there's a younger community out there that we do have for our card game that we all love and enjoy. And I want to make sure that, you know what, they're getting the most out of every everything that I'm putting out as well. You know, not only can they actually check out the channel and try to, you know, play more competitive decks or get more competitive tech cards because they don't have the money for other cards and so on and so forth. But... I keep muttering on. I apologize, guys. That concludes this deck profile. You know what, guys? Stay tuned for more fire content. I'm trying to make sure that I make everything and anything I have to the most competitive edge. Now, is this my most competitive deck? No. No, it's not. I do have a true Draco deck. I do have Spirals. I also have Lost World Dinos. I have True King Dinos. I'm going to be working on Thunder Dragon Dinos really soon once I get the rest of the Thunder Dragon support that I need. 
and so on and so forth. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy my content. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more fire content, guys. Till next time.